Alexa, who is Colin Furs? Colin Furs is a YouTube personality, stuntman, inventor, filmmaker, and former plumber from Stamford, Lincolnshire, England. That's right, I'm doing another project with Colin Furs, who you may remember from a previous video with a lot of fire. <laughs> Things burn! And a giant TIE fighter, of course, for the Star Wars promo we did just before Christmas. This time, Colin has asked me if I can make something be operated from Amazon Alexa with voice commands. Don't know what it is yet, but we're going to work on that, and then I'm going to go up and visit him. So obviously we can use Alexa for home automation, so we could just use an off-the-shelf light switch, but Colin has asked if we can set up timers and have other sensing. So I'm going to use something I can write code on, and that's going to be some ESP8266 breakout boards. I've got two boards here to have a go with. The first one is the Adafruit Feather Hazar, which is an ESP8266 on a board with some power and battery management for a 3.7 volt LiPo. The other is the MakerHawks D1, which is an ESP8266 on a board. Now the ESP8266 is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. You can see the little aerial there, but there's Arduino support, so I can write Arduino code on it, attach it to Wi-Fi, and there seems to be some library support for Amazon Alexa. So my first plan was to use the Adafruit tutorial for setting up the Echo with the ESP8266 board um, from Adafruit, the Feather Hazar, in fact. And uh, pretty much it tells you exactly what to do. You need to install some libraries, including the FOMO ESP library, and this emulates a Waymo switch. Um, so there's some code here that tells you exactly what to do. Um, there's quite a lot of information about setting this whole thing up, installing the libraries, and are basically operating some NeoPixels and a Relay. Unfortunately, that code doesn't work with Gen 2 Echoes like this one because it's brand new. It only works with the original Echo. So basically, the discovery process fails and it won't see the device on the network at all. So in the issues log for FOMO, I actually found quite a long conversation. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, basically, it looks like someone is working on fixing that library. But I found in here some other code, um, which is a link here to be followed and that takes you here. So this is some code for doing exactly the same thing, but doesn't use the FOMO ESP library. It uses various others, but most of the other code is written out longhand. So the code is a lot longer, but it does in fact work with version two echoes. So all you need to do is put in your Wi-Fi details here, your SSID and password, give your thing a name, and then you can use Alexa to turn it on and off. I did have to do one other thing, which was listed in this discussion here to change the word Belkin colon device to UPNP colon root device. And I had to do a word search on this code, do a find and replace, and now it seems to work fine. So I've put that code on my board, put the correct Wi-Fi details in, and I've named it Relay. Eventually it'll probably switch a Relay board to turn something on and off, for now there's just an LED. But we can call that anything and we can address it by voice. Alexa, turn the Relay on. Okay. So we can see the LED has come on. Alexa, turn the relay off okay and now it turns off the only thing I have to do to link everything together is go into my Alexa app go to smart home and go and scan for new devices so adding a device and doing the scan and then it appears as relay so I can activate that with the app as well which works in exactly the same way and because it's just Arduino code, we can do anything we can with an Arduino, like reading sensors and things to decide if we should turn the thing on. So we could read a light sensor and only turn the lights on if it's dark enough. So now I've used the Arduino code to make a version which only stays on for a few seconds. So this is the bit of code which basically turns everything on. And in there, I've set a flag to one and reset a timer. So that bit of code calls a function called turn on relay, and that does a digital write to my relay pin that's defined to the pin I've connected the LED to. At the top of the loop, I'm checking if that flag is set to one, and if three seconds have expired, that's 3000 milliseconds. And if so, I'm calling the function to turn the relay off and setting the flag back to zero, as well as resetting the clock. Alexa, turn the relay on. Okay. So now our LED comes on and goes off after three seconds. And of course we can do anything else with sensors, if statements, or any other Arduino code. So that's the simplest way I can find to make it work. You don't need any third party apps. You don't need anything in any cloud services. You don't need to open any holes in your firewall. You just put the code on your ESP8266, scan for new devices in your app, and then it works.
James Broughton, come Hello. this way. We're in Colin's kitchen and we're just doing a bit of a test of the code. Plugged it in. So, Alexa, turn on the TV. There we yeah. go. I'd say that's working. Yeah. Alexa, turn the TV off. Okay. Now that may look very simple, but that's something I can't do. <laughs> because I've been looking at what you've done on this computer and I was thinking about having a go myself. It's a good job I didn't. Definitely got the right man for the job here. Right, James, we've discovered that that works. Now let's go and whack it on one of my devices. So here's the thing that Colin's built. He wants me to make it voice controlled using the ESP8266. So what the hell's this? Well, believe it or not, this is going to go on my son's bed to wake him up. This sits where the mattress goes. And we've got a drill, which powers a gearbox, which powers kind of like an offset cam thing. So when I give a voice command, James is going to turn that on. The whole thing's going to shake. There's lights to flash as well, so it like proper scares him and wakes him up. Right, so it's like a waking up machine. Exactly that. All right, so let's have a look at the electronics. Because that's the bit I can't do, hence why he's here. So we've got a box of an ESP8266 and two relays. One turns on the motor, one turns on the LEDs, and we may make the LEDs flash, but we'll see how that goes. So let's get wiring. Right, it's all wired up, so let's see what it does. Right, we're ready for a test. Alexa. Turn the wake up machine on. Sorry, I didn't yeah. find wake up machine. Is it on? Alexa, turn the wake up machine on. Sorry, ah. I didn't find wake up machine. <laughs> it's that? here! <laughs> it's here! You moved it a minute ago. Is that, is the USB definitely in? Yeah, it should be. Is it definitely on? Yeah, the, the lights, lights are on inside. Working. Turn on the wake up machine. Sorry, I didn't find wake up machine. Beautiful bit of footage this. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Turn wake up machine on. <laughs> All right, we're ready for a test. Let's see what it does. Alexa, turn the wake up machine on. <laughs> turn wake up machine on. Sorry, ah! I didn't find wake up machine. It's here! Right, we've renamed it. Alexa, turn the bed shaker on. And if you want to speed it up, there's a little speed controller. I won't get too mental because I think it will shake itself to pieces at full belt. All right. Alexa, turn on the bed shaker. Yeah. That's definitely going to wake you up, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually it's moving. Right. Right, but there's one more smart home device coming up in Colin's channel, which is in about a week. But you'll have to check out Colin's channel to find out what it is. It's got pipes on. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. This, <laughs> this one had him worried. <laughs> He'll be fine. Colin's got a 3D printer. Hi, oh, it's Colin on my 3D printed five-wheeled Iron Man electric skateboard. Safety tie on and about 15 miles an hour. This is alright, this is. I think we have to get used to this. The turning circle on is not particularly great. Because if you try and turn on it, the wheels hit each other and it chucks you off. Oh, I don't know what's happening. The battery come off. Ah, oh, the belt's come off. That was lucky, James. That was nearly your camera. Other than that, this is awesome. Right. Oh, yeah. 
used to ride BMX. I didn't used to ride skateboard at all. If you're asking for any tricks, you can forget it. Here we are, we're off. end of the video don't forget to check out Colin's channel to see the rest of the build and the mysterious item under the black sheet all right that's all for now